Happy New Year everyone. Novabug here in 2017 or the day before 2017. It depends when you're watching this. I mean if you're watching this after that day, the New Year's Day, then it, well, you know what I mean. Hmm. Swedish Lager. Interesting. My brother introduced it to me. Piston Head. Interesting. And it's quite tasty. Hmm. So anyway, the Christmas gift pickup wrap up video. The obligatory one. We had to do one, don't we? We all have to do one, it seems. We don't have to. But, you know, I feel that I've got some interesting stuff here. I like splattering of random geekness all the way through. Um, many of them catering, catering to my interests and some not. Uh, but all equally as cool, I suppose. There's a few good ones. <laughs> a few good ones. Um, we'll start off with... Hmm. We'll start off with what um, Dave Infected Flinch sent me. Very kind of you, so you didn't have to. So it was a couple of Game Boy games. Tetris 2 on the original Game Boy. I don't have that, so that's great. That's one for the collection. I do not have that. Never played it either. I'm guessing it's like Tetris. And um, a Jet Game Boy Color game. Triple Play 2001. A baseball game, if you will. Only baseball game I have ever played is Wii Sports. So when I um, actually get a Game Boy Color, <laughs> you know, I'll give it a play. That's two Game Boy Color games I have now, and no console to play them on. Terrific. Anyway, thank you very much, Dave, for that. It's very kind of you. You didn't need to do that. Uh, don't next year, please. Just the card. It's fine. Now, um, I, I probably you you probably do the same thing as I do, and. Uh, is when, when people ask what they want what they want to get you for Christmas, you say, well, you know, I really want a, such an, you know, a, a certain amount of certain things like games or this or that. And what I like to do is when it comes to games, is give someone like a, a push in the right direction, a um, a sort of short list, so that they don't, especially if they don't, you know, buy the same game. You don't want two people buying the same game. So obviously, I'm going for the Wii U games, um, so I want to get a few of them. So I gave short lists to everyone. And I think I gave about five shortlists. Uh, so all I wanted was Wii U games. You know, I sort of, I'd of, I of, I be perfectly happy with Wii U games. I got two. Two great ones, but I just got two. Uh, my brother always comes through for me because he knows, basically, he says, what do you want, Chris? And I say, and I say uh, Wii U game. Uh, he says to me what I want, what he wants, sorry. And he, I say, PS4 game. I gave him a PS4 game. It's as simple as that. So he got me, rather surprisingly, and he loves his special editions. So he gets me a special edition as well. And that is the, um, yeah, the Twilight Princess Legend of Zelda HD Wolf Link Amiibo Game Disc and Audio CD Limited Edition box set. Rather spiffing indeed. I, t I mean, uh, I do love the fact, and I know that we use dying now and it's going to be, you know, ending production and everything, but just the, the presentation of these is just, um, it's so good. The quality is just excellent. Um, so it's got everything in here. I mean, and that, that amazing audio CD with the theme, the, the uh, soundtrack to uh, Twilight Princess. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm going to listen to that very soon. Uh, the game, of course, which I'll show you in a minute, and the Wolf Link Amiibo. It's got a little bit of, well, unfortunately, it's got a little bit of a, a bit there, kind of, sort of a fold. But there we go. A Wolf Link Amiibo. I'll stay in the box for the moment, uh, but I will get it out because I, I do open all my Amiibos. Uh, this is this is the only Amiibo that I've got that isn't Mario. <laughs> you know, I managed to get three Amiibos so far. Not a collector, but I just like them. I like occasional. And th all three of them are Mario di in different poses. Uh, and then one like that, you know, the, you know, the 8-bit one. I don't know. What the fuck did I do that? But anyway, Wolf Link uh, Amiibo, which is excellent. And of course, the game itself. Legends of Zelda, Twilight Princess HD, which looks fantastic. And now I've got two copies of uh, Twilight Princess, because I bought one uh, copy, uh, the Wii version, of uh, Tutti UK. Uh, in a uh, play, I think, or a, pl a previous play. Come on, get in, don't break it. No, but come on. There we go, put it on this side, because I'll get it mixed up otherwise. The other Wii U game I got was from the in-laws... The wonderful 101, one of the launch, you know, very early games for the Wii U, which I'm trying to get all the the first year, second year games from the Wii U initially, uh, because they'll probably start to become a little bit rarer and probably a little bit more pricey. So 
glad I've got that. Fantastic. Another one for the collection. It brings my Wii U collection up to about 50 now, which is great. Uh, now, my brother, he um, he gets the uh, the arcade block. Uh, he subscribes to that. The one that comes into the, the sort of fake Nintendo. Hang on, I'll just get it for you. The fake Nintendo box. Well, I can do that. Here we go. Pick it up for you. Ugh. One of those. Yeah, so he gets the uh, he gets the arcade block, which looks like the NES, and he basically for about two years, I think two years, he's subscribed to it now. He's got a load of the stuff that he didn't want that I haven't seen, and shoved it in an arcade block and given it to me. And that's I think it was quite a cool to do that. Um, and a few of the things I actually did see in uh, other videos and thought, oh, they're quite cheeky. Wouldn't mind that. And this is one of the things I wouldn't have minded, and I've got it now. Which I've ripped, the, I've ripped the top of it, like a twat, you know. The uh, classic uh, uh, SNES NTSC style uh, USB controller uh, for your PC. And um, yeah, I've given it a play. And I must admit, a little bit disappointed. It's not as good as the iBuffalo uh, clone I've got. Um, it's not, it doesn't feel as responsive. It's certainly not as solid and as uh, and as um, adap um, not adaptive that's the wrong word not as not as comfortable to feel and operate as the original um, SNES NTSC controller the d-pad's okay these buttons are extremely spongy uh, they've got the textures right I mean you know the concave convex and the top buttons they're okay it can a bit spongy and a very very poor weak thin USB cord and it works it works okay it just doesn't work. It's not as responsive as um, my other controller, uh, which is a shame because it looks pretty cracking. Uh, Retro Link is a bit of a crap name to be honest. Looks great though, but uh, that's one of many things in this box. I'm gonna put it back in the box. Next one, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but it's kind of cool. It looks kind of cool. An arcade block exclusive. There he is, Mega Man. Um, speaker helmet. Oh, the Capcom. Um, yeah, it's a USB speaker. It's a USB speaker, and it does work. It does work well. Uh, I've tried it out, and it's got its own uh, audio jack there, so you stick that into your phone. It kind of gubbins like that, so you would... Oh, that's the wrong end. So you stick that in there, and then, funnily enough, stick that in a USB, some weird. You'd think that would be a micro USB, so it, it would work, but anyway. Um, it does work and it's quite loud, surprisingly. Um, it looks kind of good. <laughs> it's more like it's, I think it's more like going to be an ornament for the uh, for the retro loft, um, something like that for the bug loft. I'm going to call it now, by the way, the bug loft. Better put it back in its box because uh, you know I'm just a stickler for putting things in boxes. Right, that's what she said. Um, right. I better crack on because I'm, I'm driven on it. Right. The second thing. No, that wasn't in it. Shit. No, not then. Ah, yes. Fancy a pair of Superman underpants? You got them. Because that's what's in them. Superman underpants. Enough said. And Star Fox Zero socks. Who knew? <laughs> Bioworld. Bye Bioworld. A crew, the tube sock. It's a tube sock as well. So no compromising positions you'll find me in with a Star Fox sock. Ah, copyright Nintendo on the bottom. 2016, yes. It, pfft, I, who knew? But, you know, kind of geekly fun. Um, oh, this is a quite nice picture, which I'm going to put up somewhere here, which is a sort of retro art picture of Mario uh, looking over the uh, foreboding Donkey Kong structure there, which looks kind of cool, which I'll probably put, I don't know, maybe there or... Somewhere it'll be maybe I might frame that. It's pretty cool. And then finally, something else to put on the wall is a poster, and it's a Mario Kart Super, the best one. Well, eight's good, but the best one. Super Mario Kart uh, long poster artwork, absolutely wonderful. Love that. Uh, excellent. I'm, I'm going to scan that image in because it's. Just a, I love that image. Classic image from the box art of the original game. So keeping that good, so that's going all back in the box. And finally, 
secondly, another thing he got me on the, it wasn't in the box, but he got me it separately, was a, another geeky, he, he thinks I'm, I'm, am I pretty obsessed about Mario? I think he might be, think I am. It's a Super Mario Brothers multi-tool. You know, looking at the back, it kind of looks awkward to sort of use this thing as a screwdriver. What is that? It's just like a boxy, shapey kind of thing. Not that. I mean, that's obviously pixelated Mario, which is kind of nice on its own. I mean, as a key ring, as a key ring, that on its own is actually rather wonderful. Uh, that thing, I can see the bottle opener. Yeah, get that. The, the screwdriver bit looks rather awkward to use. In fact, you you probably move, be more successful unscrewing screws with your fingernails than that. Um, yeah. But there we go. That's what it is. It's 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 all good stuff. It's all good geeky stuff. So I like. Um, where next? Shall we get? Oh, oh he kissed home my brother, and he finally got. He also got me this. This was in the box as well, which is another cool T-shirt for my ever-growing retro T-shirt collection. And this was uh, also came with our pay block, arcade block as well. Just flick it out there. Yes. Now you're playing with power. With a nice little pixelated artwork there for the, for the NES the controllers and the carts. And the power glove, I just noticed. Hey, the power glove's there as well. And the zapper, upside down. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> it's got it all, isn't it? Um, you know, if it had Rob on there as well, it would have the complete set, apart from the dance mat and other random stuff. But anyway, great stuff, great work. Um, um, right, well, yeah, yeah, I'll go do this first. And my father, he decided to get me this strange thing which I've only half assembled at the moment, which I'm not going to show you a picture of because it's dull. Well, it's not dull, it's 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 just put away somewhere. And that was just this. A space Rail Perpetual Motion Roller Coaster. So you assemble this thing. Even though it says level two, I'm finding this thing fucking difficult to build. And I think I've managed to put that rail in so far with the loop, which is don't. I, it, the, the ball just keeps falling off and I, the twisty thing stopped working and then it did work again and then it stopped work. I have no idea. I will persevere with it and uh, I might do a video on it if it works. Um, it's a difficult thing to assemble, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of smart. It certainly does look smart when you, when you have a nice picture of it like that. So anyway, um, right, let's go on to these. Mrs. got me these, uh, the girlfriend. Uh, yeah, she got me something else as well. <laughs> I'll show that in a minute. Um, again, everyone thinks I'm a massive fan of Mario for some reason. Hmm. But some nice little figurines here. Uh, large figure collection. Uh, nicely detailed figure of Mario and Cooper Trooper. Uh, Cooper Trooper is also a, ooh, a little bit of paint flaking on that one, I can see. Uh, but they look pretty good. They're pretty nice. They are officials. From, yeah, they are official. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they're pretty good quality and not to be sniffed at. So, yeah, they'll go somewhere on display when I've finally got some fucking shelves up or something. And to go with that, the sister-in-law gets me another one. Gets me Mario's ever-famous underrated taller brother wearing the green Luigi with the death stare. And, of course, Yoshi looking very excited there, I must admit. Very excited indeed, but they're they they were they're pretty good. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. They are uh, smart, smart stuff. Um, the in-laws, Batman playing cards. No, 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 no. The in-laws didn't give me that. Uh, my friend Sarah or Ashley got me that. <laughs> Ashley, my friend Ashley got me that. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that. Yes, because my friend Sarah got me beer, which is also great. Uh, that's drunk now, so I can't show it on camera. Well, it's, it's, it's there. So Batman playing cards, if you can see that, and you know, very confusing designs, of course, if you were actually play a game of cribbage or something. Now move that out of the way. All right, books, three books. I, I actually did ask for three books, and I got all three books. So I was happy with that. So we have the updated copy of Man in the Rubber Mask by Robert Llewellyn, Red Dwarf. I've Got the original book of this that came out over ten years ago, I think. It's half the size of this. It says on there, now with forty-three point seventeen percent more smeg. <laughs> uh, I want to give it this a read. I will be doing as soon as possible. I will enjoy it, and I will enjoy uh, Robert's moaning because you do like to moan a bit, Rob, don't you? Uh, yes. 
Um, the second book I wanted was Sh Alan Sugar's biography, or autobiography. And I got that as well. I think he's made two, actually, but this is one of them. What you see is what you get. A bit like me, really. What you see is what you get with the bug. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this a good read. This is a big fat book, this. Uh, but I'm going to chow through this, certainly. Um, it's got time with, obviously, Spurs and all the other things he did. And I don't know whether he's going to talk about... Um, I don't know if he's going to talk about the Anna Jix 4000, but, I mean, he might. I, mean, I hope he does. I might do some quotes from him. Who knows? Who cares? Speaking of who cares, one of his catchphrases, finally got my hands on Mr. Stuart Ashen's terrible old games you've probably never heard of. Yeah, if you've seen the channel, you probably know that he, does, he did the series and he wrote a book on it as well. A uh, hardback book, lovely presented this, uh, colourful. Bang, now in with that, Stu. Um, I haven't read all through it yet. I've given it, a, I've given it a bit of a reading. I like the fact that it's only got two Amstrad games featured in it. That made made, made my heart warm. Uh, the fact that uh, thank God he's only you know highlighted two of the worst games on the Amstrad, which they are deservedly bad, and so that's why he's put them. Count Duckula two, oh, shocking. Um, but very funny, very amusing, uh, in typical Stuart Ashen style. And that was a cheap plug there for you, Stuart, if you're bothering to watching Nate, which you won't. You won't be watching this. What am I talking about? Larry might. Uh, and finally, the pièce de résistance. And I'm going to associate this with a little clip uh, after I've uh, shown it off. And it's quite large, so it will fill the screen up. <laughs> the missus got me this. Do you like scale electrics? Do you like Mario? Well, apparently I do, because lots of people bought me lots of Mario stuff. Mario! A Mario Kart Wii Scale Electrics sort of thing, where the Carrera one, uh, so similar to Scale Electrics, not quite the same scale, ironically. Carrera Go! But it's the, it's the, you know, electric, electrified racing, as it were, and we've given it a great go. And, uh, yeah, here's the clip now. So it works well, um, it's pretty good, it's pretty good fun, the girls love it, um, I think it's extra fun as well, really good. I uh, can't, I mean, I'm going to have to keep it packed up a lot of the time, I've got like, sort of space around here, I mean, the, the loft is not that big, I mean, I'm in one corner of it, what you see in here is about half the loft, but unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, God knows how much you pay for that. I mean, it is Mario Kart Wii, so obviously it's uh, going back a bit, um, but I'd never seen it before, so I thought that's pretty fun. And pretty good work um so yeah i mean she knows what i like this kind of stuff and uh surprise it was a great surprise and good fun so what can i say it's been a, a random christmas an absolute random splattering of stuff um i've got wii u games i've got all the books i asked for and i've got you know mario figurines and another geek t-shirt oh finally to mention this of course this is another thing the in-laws did get me this which is my rogue one t-shirt they did get me that i still haven't seen the film I will see the film soon. Mm. But, uh, yeah, they got me the Rogue One t-shirt as well. Whew. That was it, loves. That was that. <laughs> that was it, loves. Loves. Loveys. That was it. Yeah, there was the gifts to Nova Bar. Going, where the hell, What am I doing? I have no idea. 2017 must be affecting me. Who knows? But anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching that. Uh, God knows if you stuck with me for that long. Christ almighty on a stick shit. Um, on a shit stick. Good t-shirt. 
great Wii U games, good Mario figures, top books. You're fired. No, I'm not, sir. Um, Batman playing cards and random arcade block with Star... Like I say them again. Star Fox Zero Socks. Mario Kart Wii um, Racing uh, Sky Electrics thingamabob. And, of course, Superman Pants. And we'll end on this panty note with Superman's Pants. No bug. Out. <laughs>